is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good Friday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Friday morning. We're 30 minutes into the trading day, and we got action all over the place, folks. It's going to be an interesting one. s and is off 1.5% right now. You're trading at 38.62. I talked about it in my program. You are 315 points off of where we were trading at almost 24, excuse me, almost 72 hours ago. Back to Tuesday morning for the CPI print. We're trading at 41.75. You're 300 points off that price level. You talk about the NASDAQ 100, you're off 1.7% right now. NASDAQ 100, you've given up, what are we talking about? Almost 1,200 points. Folks, you are almost 10% lower in about three days in the NASDAQ 100. The Dow right now, 30,727. You're off 2,000 points in the Dow from where we were Tuesday. Just mammoth numbers. The Russell right now, negative by 40 points. The Russell, is that right? Yeah, off 2.2% this morning. I'm going to jump to FedEx real quick. We didn't even get to FedEx in my program. You want to talk about some worries going on here. We got the FedEx down 22%, folks. And why? They pulled their guidance, man. They uh, biggest drop in 40 years after pulling their forecast. Demand for freight has significantly deteriorated. Courier shares tumbled 22% on the open. Uh, biggest stock drop since 1980. Flagged weakness in Asia and challenges in Europe as it pulled its prior outlook and reported preliminary results for the latest quarter that fell well short of expectations. That was after the bell last night. Uh, they're going to take immediate steps to cut costs, parking some aircrafts, cutting workers' hours, closing more than 90 of its roughly 2,200 FedEx offices. That's almost, what, 4 to 5 percent of their offices closed. Not doing business anymore because they don't need you because there's not enough business to be done. Boy, FedEx, man, you better be careful, uh, as in just indicative of so much in this economy right now. And <clears throat> a lot of the analysts, folks, you've been hearing it, saying, hey, you know, we're going to get some, some earnings revisions coming down the line, man. They're coming, okay? And when they come, those multiples are going to look lofty again, potentially. You know, pay attention, man. We start seeing deals like that where FedEx, and you take a look at FedEx on a longer-term basis, man, you put it on a daily, Right? That's a drop off to 160, folks. You put it on a weekly from 319 cut in half over a period of just over a year for FedEx. Right back to the pandemic levels. Stay tuned, folks. Basil Chapman, he is back in the saddle. He's going to give it a go next. He'll be up with the Tiger Technicians Hour. And uh, after that, you got live programming, folks. Stay tuned. Have a great Friday.